guys, it's Liv and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would show you guys, I think I have about eight different hairstyles for short hair. And obviously you can do this if you have long hair, it's just us short hair girls, we need some ideas sometimes. So if you do like these hairstyles that I show you guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I can always do a part two because I do have a lot of hairstyle ideas. And make sure you also go and follow me over on my Instagram because the feed's looking quite good at the moment, not gonna lie to you. So make sure you go follow me over there, subscribe and like, you know, you know everything you got to do. And also comment down below your favorite hairstyle if you have one. I know you're gonna love them all, it's hard to pick a favorite, but if you do, make sure to comment down below. So for the first hairstyle that we have, you're gonna need a clip. Now, I really, really recommend she in for these clips because they do really great small ones for short hair. But if you do only have a big one, don't worry, I'm sure it'll work too. But yeah, the first one we're gonna do is like a half up flick kind of hairstyle. It's quite 90s, quite groovy. So yeah, you're gonna need a clip. And as I said, they're like, two pounds of Shein and it comes in a pack. So let's get started, shall we? So first of all, you wanna take half of the hair and kinda of just slick it back basically, not going over. And then you're gonna to wanna to do a twist so the hair all doesn't just go everywhere. Get the clip, kind of clip it high-ish up, not too low, otherwise it won't really work and sprout it open and there you go. Just take the two pieces at the front and you're done. So yeah, this is the first hole that we have. As you can see, it literally took me like 20 seconds to do at most. It just has a nice 90s flick to it. Um, and yeah, you can just pull out these pieces at the front if you want to, you don't have to. So yeah, it's super easy to do and I personally really like it with these square clips of Shein. So yeah, this is hairstyle number one. Let me know if this is your favorite. I found that when I had longer hair, it was so nice to just put it all in one clip. But you can't do that anymore. So this has become like the short hair alternative. So yeah, hairstyle number one. Let's go on to number two, shall we? Oh, and I forgot to say, you can do any of these hairstyles with either like curled hair or whatever I did straight because it's the easiest to be honest. I'm a bit lazy today. So yeah, you can do it with curly, wavy, whatever you want, girl, you can do it. So this one is just the classic tuck behind your ears with some bobby pins or clips. I don't have any clips, so I use bobby pins. But yeah, let's get started. So literally all you're gonna wanna do is get those pieces of hair and just put them behind your ears, basically. And then you're gonna need two bobby pins on each side and kind of do a crossover so they grip onto each other and it just makes it stay so much longer and it's just way more secure, basically. And yeah, pretty cute, little pose. There you go, beautiful. This is hairstyle number two. As you can see, this one is really, really easy. And just crossing them over just makes it stay a lot longer. So yeah, this one, again, super easy, super nice and slick, this one, I find. It looks cute if you're going a bit formal or just for everyday life. So yeah, this one is super easy and cute, I have to say. So yeah, that is hairstyle number two. Let's move swiftly onto number three. All you need is a hairband and your hands. And this is just a really, really easy, low pony basically. So let's get started. So for this, you just wanna slick everything back basically. And I ended up using a hairbrush just to make sure it was all as far back as it could be. And then I don't like doing it right at the bottom of my hair. So I kind of do it like at the mid part of my hair so I don't get bald, there you go. So as you guys saw, I did end up using a hairbrush as well, just to make sure it was all as slick back as can be. Now, you may notice Liv has a wham forehead, but I find that, you know, if you wanna wear a hairstyle, ignore your forehead and just do it. And obviously when you're wearing a mask, this one is ideal because you're not gonna mess anything up because it's all just slick back. With this one, you can obviously pull out two strands at the front. So if you are a bit more conscious of your forehead, just do this and it's all good. And yeah, you can do it lower down, but I find it just kind of like hides the hair a bit more and it just makes you look a bit bald, which I am not going for bald. I don't think I could pull it off. But yeah, this was hairstyle number three. Let's move swiftly on to number four. So for hairstyle number four, I'm going to be using clear elastics, but you can use normal hair bands. It's only because you need hairstyle number four for number five, where clear elastics work a whole lot better. This hairstyle it was just two half up bunchies, basically. Looks really, really good with curly hair, this one, I'm not gonna lie. 
Olivia's lazy, as I said. So yeah, let's just get started into this one. So I just start by middle parting my hair, basically, and brushing it out. And then, kind of like before, I just half it, making sure it's at like a good point at the back, and then swiftly putting it together and getting my clear elastic and just tying that up. You want to make sure it just does look quite slick back because I just I'm not a big fan of the bumpy look. Um, so yeah, you just wrap it all up in the hairband. And here's me saying I'll do it to the other side. And I literally do the exact same. You want to make sure it's at the same point at the front and the back. And there you go. Yes. So yeah, this is hairstyle number four. And obviously with this one as well, you can just grab the front strands out as well if you prefer it to look like that. I actually quite like it with the front strands pulled out because it just, just hides the forehead a little bit more and every little helps. And as I said, you can just use normal hair bands. I think it looks quite cute with elastics because it's just, just a little bit more hidden, although I do wish I got the black ones because my hair is quite dark and you can see them, not gonna lie. So yeah, this is hairstyle number quattro. I think this one's quite cute, you know, quite fun. As I said, really easy, I said for everyone because girl, they're bloody easy and they really are. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. You just gotta make sure that they're at like the same point, basically, otherwise one will be down here and one will be down there. We don't want that. So yeah, this is hairstyle number four. Okay, moving on to hairstyle number five. This one is personally my favorite at the moment. I'm literally, I'm loving it, I'm not gonna lie. It's basically, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like the bobbly hairstyle. And obviously all you need is your hair in bunches at first. Now elastics do work a lot better for these because it needs to be really tight for the hairstyle to actually work. So if you can, grab yourself some elastics. If not, just use thin, small hair bands, I reckon. But let's just get straight and show you guys, and obviously your hair should be in bunches. So I basically get one of my elastics and go an inch and a half down. I don't know, I don't know how far it is, you can kind of see. And get another one and go the same exact distance because you don't want it to look uneven. And each time I go down, I kind of pull it out a bit to kind of like make the bubble effect. And I keep on going down. I think I did about seven hair bands, but literally do as many as you think looks good. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure you're pulling them out each time so that it's not just obviously flat bubbles just in hair bands. Um, and then I do it to the other side evenly. Do it evenly, don't forget that part. So this is hairstyle number five, and I don't know about you guys, but I personally love it. I think it's so fun and it looks so much harder than it actually is. I just think it's really cute. How weird, it looks like it looks like a tripod. You might have seen it, I was wearing it in my last video. I just think this is really cute and fun. And once again, you can pull out these front bits if you want to. They're obviously pulled out from before. And I think it is a win for the short haired girls having this because it looks friggin' sick if I'm so inside myself. So yeah, this is hair start number five and next we'll go on to number six. This is live in pain. Pain, I tell you. Ooh. These hairstyles are getting tiring, I must say. But my head is in pain from taking out those elastics. You're gonna need them again, I'm afraid. You're gonna need elastics for this hairstyle, hairstyle number six, because it's kind of like the same half up, but it's different because you're like grabbing stuff as you go along. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't tried this one yet, so we're gonna have to see how it goes. But what you need is you need elastics and I think you can just use your hands, although a comb might be useful. Oh, and for this one, you're gonna need your hair in a middle part again. I know, a middle part doesn't suit me. I'm not actually wearing my hair like this. It's for a hairstyle. So yeah, let's just get straight into hairstyle number six. So for this one, I just took some hair from, I'd say like an eyebrow point, <laughs> and did it up with an elastic, making sure it was tight and not bumpy. And then next up, I went from a lower point and just to behind that first section and joined them together with one of my elastics once again making sure it's smooth and then I did the third section going up a bit further and going back a bit further and joined all three together beautifully as you can see stunning yes Olivia love to see it and then I did the same to the other side easy peasy making sure it's at the same level as the other side because you don't want it to be uneven we don't want that ladies yeah go on live yep okay there she is tying it up zoom was not this fast in real life and my arms were dead at this point um okay pull out the pieces you're beautiful okay so this is this hairstyle done as i said this was my first time doing it and i managed it which is so so good which means 
it's easy. How many times am I saying easy in this video? You can and let me know. This is what this one looks like. It's super cute. Now I reckon you could actually go all the way down with this, like keep on doing it to make it into bunchies basically. If you're gonna do like exercise or anything, you can't obviously put your hair in a high pony anymore. I recommend doing this because as I said, you could definitely go all the way down and it would look really cool. So let me know if this one is your fave. It's hairstyle number six, if so. And let's go on to number seven. We have two left, okay? Prepare yourself. So the next one that we're gonna do is a half up with two pieces at the front, but you don't have to do the two pieces at the front. I just like it. So we'll do the half up and then we'll do half up with a bun. You basically only need one hairband, but to keep the two front pieces away, you might need another hairband. So let's get started. So first up, you just wanna find these two fringe pieces and then you don't want them to be too thick, two C's or too thin, and then tie it up with a hairband so it doesn't get caught up in the rest of the business with the rest of the hair. And then you wanna slick back that half up look and make it quite high, high to the sky. Tie it up, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, donny, done, done. And then take out the thing, obviously, and just spit it open. So this is the next hairstyle. Now, these two pieces can make thin, obviously, I'm just gonna curl them under a bit more so they look a bit shorter, basically. But this one is super easy. I'm just gonna do a bit of this. So it kind of like, it just frames the face a bit more. Oh God, okay, I tried. So I think next time I maybe would make these pieces a bit thinner. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I find with this one, the higher up the ponytail, the better it looks, because you can actually see it from the front. Okay, so to make it into a bun, I am gonna take out this because I want it to be a messy bun. And my hair is freshly washed today, so it might not work out the best. But let me try and show you how I do my messy bun. Right guys, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this one. It's a bit technical. All I do is I grab and I scrunch and turn. Grab, scrunch, turn. And then with the hairband, I just kinda secure it and just pull out basically. This Easy. is what this one looks like with a bun. As you can tell, there's no real method to making it messy. I just kind of, scrunch and tug and all of that so it could probably be messier to be honest i think it's just because it's freshly washed so it's not gonna go mega messy it's probably works better with dirty hair so yeah this is what this hairstyle looks like and obviously i still have these two pieces from before but if you wanted you could make them thinner so this is what seven and a half looks like with the shorter strands i way prefer it i'm not gonna lie i love just throwing my hair up in a half up bun and as i said it works really well with dirty hair so when you just cba to wash your hair in the morning i recommend just throwing it up in a handy dandy bun because it's a pretty cute look and then the last one that we have is actually pretty similar to these two it's just just a little bit more formal, I'd say. A little bit more for a night out slash evening at dinner. So let's go on to the last hairstyle. All brushed up and we're looking crazy. Okay, let's show you the last hairstyle that we have. So with this one, you're gonna need two hairbands again. So let's get started. Let's just get straight into it. So with this one, first of all, you kind of want to make this comb over fringe, kind of going from quite far over as a parting and just separate this fringe part out. You don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be thin either. It's just kind of like try and error. I think that's what it's called. And then you tie it up with the hairband and then slick back. Okay, beautiful. And then tie it up in a high ponytail once again. I know, deja vu, I know. So tie that up very high up. Cool, all right, Ariana Grande. Um, She's tied it up, tightening it, taking out that fringe, wow. Ooh, what a look. Uh, getting a bobby pin and slicking that down and then just attaching that to the hair behind the ear and then do two bobby pins and do the crossover thing again, otherwise it'll probably slip. Get your gel and just gel this little part here and any flyaways basically. And then we wanna cover the hairband, so get a piece of hair from the ponytail and drag it on round, round, round like a freckled baby and then bobby pin it into the hair. Okay, so this is the last style that we have. As you can see, this one took a little bit more effort because obviously you need to gel it and stuff. So it doesn't look as messy at all. But yeah, this is what we have. As you can see, it's pretty slick, pretty nice. Nice for like an evening at dinner or something. Obviously not during lockdown. But yeah, I think this is quite a cute hairstyle. And especially when you cover up the hairband with your hair, it just makes it look quite neat and tidy i reckon and the same with before i think the higher up that this bit is the better because yeah you can see it from straight on and if not i'd look like i'd look a bit strange basically so yeah this is hairstyle number eight 
slash nine. We'll go with that. I gave you guys nine. You're so welcome. So yeah, that is all the hairstyles that I have for you guys today. I hope that I've given you guys a little bit of inspiration for some hairstyles to do on your short hair. If I have, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also don't forget to comment down below which one your favourite was. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Thank you.